Hello, welcome to the Massive Dash Kitchen. I'm Alex and today we are making chocolate mousse. Ta-da! Rich, chocolatey, delicious, low fat, low carb. So this is how you do it. Uh, I've got, basically to make the bulk of it, um, some gelatine. And I've just made that with uh, the gelatine you buy from the supermarket in the baking section. You could use a flavoured jelly if you wanted to do like a fruit mousse, but today we're doing a chocolate mousse. Um, obviously this recipe isn't um, what I would call overly clean eating or those suitable for organic eaters because gelatin is made from animal product. But if you're not so concerned about that then this is the recipe for you and it is really yummy and delicious and you can have this most days because it's not overly going to um, high cut the amount of calories you're going to be consuming. So what else we've got in here? So I've made up about a cup full of jelly. You see that it's already set. And I've used three to four eggs. And I've got this here, Kraft Single Cheese Slices. And these are awesome because there's only about a gram of fat per slice and two grams of carbs. So they're super low carbs and low in fat. So you could effectively eat a couple of these a day, but bear in mind that they are quite high in sodium. So they will affect that in your body. And just incidentally, if you don't know what I mean when I talk about sodium, it is um, if you have a higher sodium intake in your diet, it makes you store water, which will give you that soft look. So if you want to get those chiseled abs or a flat tummy, watch the amount of sodium you eat and you'll see quite a difference in the amount of water you're holding in the body and um, the bit of bloatedness that you probably get in your tummy as well. And that's just a wee little tip. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to crack and separate your egg whites from your egg yolks and do about three or four. And you're going to melt one of these in the microwave or in a pot, if you don't have a microwave, on the stove top. And you'll get that mixture there. And that's your bulk for your mousse. And I've got about two to three tablespoons of cocoa, cocoa powder. You could go organic or um, just store-bought. And I have sweetened this. Um, usually I'd go for stevia, but I've got this one here today, which does have your chemicals in it. So bear in mind um, that you can get chemical-free artificial sweeteners as well. And then... As added extras, um, I've got a sugar-free maple syrup here, which is made by Queen. And again, it does have in it sorbitol and colours and sweeteners. Um, sorry, not sweeteners. Uh, yeah, it does. Sweetener. So if you were cutting it out of your diet, leave it out. Um, you could also put a nut butter in there and maybe a tablespoon. This is one of my favourites. And a bit of vanilla, some added flavour. And just a dash of that would be cool. So I will pour all this come over here, into my mixer. And this is so quick and easy. It's crazy. Put your egg whites in there. It does have an egg smell to it. So <laughs> maybe open a window so you don't stink out your family or friends. And a bit of that, and I'll put a bit of vanilla in this one. True. Dash of this. Boom. And a little bit of sweetener. This is very strong, by the way. So if you were using the stevia packets, you would probably use maybe three. And this, you only need like a drop, literally like about that much will do. Bound this on. It may be a little bit too thick, so you could put some milk in it. So, or just plain water if you wanted to just make it a little bit more runnier. And if it is really runny to begin with, don't worry because the gelatin will let it set. And just 
like that. Oh, make sure you've got it all mixed up. You don't want any cocoa unmixed because that tastes disgusting. in a really pretty little dessert dish bowl. Pretend this is one of those yummy dessert dishes. Whoa, look at that. Creamy and rich. And then you just pop it in the fridge and that will set really quickly. This one I haven't even put in the fridge yet. I just made that and let it sit and you can already see it's set. And voila, you've got yourself a low-fat, no-carb chocolate mousse. So, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I upload recipes once a week. And um, I will be uploading some more savoury recipes for you very soon. So come back here then.